This is the Children's Museum in Indianapolis. I'm on the skywalk. I'm at the astronaut portion of the museum. I don't think they have NASA missions anymore except for some kind of science studies. Now they have private space shuttle rockets in Texas. It's privately owned. We're one, we're worn by Spock, and this was worn by Captain Kirk. It's the train portion of the museum. They make it look like the columns are made of wood. It's just not the case. This was supposed to be Madison, Indiana in the 1800s. Now we have the dinosaurs. One big turtle. Supposedly the largest that ever lived on the earth. Museum, which the little model showed the dinosaurs dinosaurs escaping from the museum and here they're trying to get in. That was the final <laughs> decision. <laughs> okay, so here's the view where they're trying to get out. It's on the other side. This place is like a city block. Oh my gosh. The dinosaurs have escaped. Alert the media. We are at the sports museum. And Indy's favorite sports car racing. Indiana, you should see everyone in May. Everyone's got their flags out for the race on their yards. This is sort of the archaeology wing. Things they find. Like the Egypt here and China statues. My favorite, Harrison Ford movie. Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Carousel is being fixed, but I can see parts of it. It's called the Carousel Wishes and Dreams.
going to be a show about the Apollo missions, and this is Mission Control Console they have in the stage up front. It used to be the projector, which they don't have anymore, but I understand there's one at Ball State, and Holcomb actually has one here in Indianapolis as well. NASA recruited the best scientists, engineers, and mathematicians to design the components of the mission. They also called in support from specialist companies and universities around the country. This meant that the astronauts had to travel all over the United States. One day they would be in Virginia, training to land on the moon. The next, they would be in the Los Angeles Harbor, training with the Navy for their return to Earth. Days later, they would be in Houston, practicing to set up experiments in their spacesuits. Then they would be sent to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. From here, they would be launched into space to test the new systems and spacecraft. Since Apollo, astronauts have remained within low Earth orbit. Small space stations like Mir and Skylab pioneered technologies for living in space. More countries began to develop their own space programs. Fifteen nations came together to build the International Space Station. Well, that was the space show, the Apollo story at the Children's Museum in Indianapolis.